Hey guys, uh, Gonsman2002 here with you. Um, my last video, sorry the music was a bit too loud. I was going to redo it. Seems that people have heard what I wanted to say about it, uh, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'll just touch up on a couple more issues, make sure that they get through. Um, issues I did have with the kit. This is a new camera, by the way, I just got it, so I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, how the sound's going to be. Let's hope uh, things work. The frame. When you go to um, install it after everything's done and set up, you can play with it. I did all the, uh, the, the pre-fitting and everything that you can imagine. But when you put in what they call the, uh, the splash guards, and I know you can't see them, but they're up in here underneath the wheels. And they glue to part of the frame, going forward along the frame rails, up towards the front here. And it's when the on a real truck what it's designed to do is stop moisture from getting into the engine there. Once those are installed, glued in place and set up, you have to file them down. Uh, I've tried everything else that was possible to do with it. There's nothing I could hope to do but start filing. So get out your sanding sticks. You should all have them by now. Nice, real careful, flat across the top making sure it's even and file it down bit by bit taking your time it will eventually fit in there and it will eventually go um, the only other thing I found is the instructions weren't exactly clear on a sequence so I put the cab onto the frame and then looked for where I'm supposed to put the steering pump and oops you can't reach it once it's that far together you have to put the steering pump in against the frame from the top, connect to, while it's still moist and it's still pliable, to the cap, and then go from there. Oh, there goes that handle again. I'll find it. There it is. The door handle just fell off. Um, other than that, not a whole lot of flash issues. Like I said, really good really clean really nice kit to put together uh, there was one other thing I was trying to think of that I can't remember offhand the pump the frame yeah that was it those are the two those are the two things that uh, I ran into with a snag um, I did the chains yeah they work and they come off so the thing will drop down lower but uh, that's it. Uh, I did also want to talk to Dr. Deadwax. You guys may know him. He's uh, been lurking around the area. He's thinking about getting back into the modeling business after 30 years, he said to me in a private message. Dr. Deadwax, I encourage you to do it if you have the time. Bear in mind, uh, personally, I sometimes get in trouble <laughs> from my, my other half. Because when you start getting down to the nitpicking details, next thing you know, you know, everything's going great, everything's looking fine. And oops, you were three or four hours downstairs working on your projects and she's been waiting to go out somewhere, do grocery shopping and whatever, and you had no idea and you didn't even realize the time went by. Uh, that said, if you've got the time, uh, you've got the motivation, if you've got the passion, we'd love to see you join us. I uh, love to see your builds. It's a great hobby. I actually started just a little bit uh, about myself uh, approximately a year ago. And I think I've said this before, but I'll reiterate it for Dr. Deadwax. Hopefully he's listening. Um, after 30 years myself, uh, I have, near as I can figure, I'm about two years older than you based on uh, what you've said, uh, how old you were when... Uh, the moving pictures come out, stuff like that. You were in grade 9, I'd have been in grade 11, so yeah. Uh, 30 years ago, the last 35 years ago, maybe even, I don't know, a long time ago. I was 16, 17 when I did my last model until last year. I actually started doing the models because I wanted to learn how to use an airbrush. I wanted to learn how to use an airbrush because my Sportster that's uh, coming up, it's 24 years old, made in 1990. Uh, so it's coming up on an antique, 
Uh, it's in the shop right now, getting all torn down, all rebuilt and everything. I thought, what I want to do is I want to take the engine, or the, the tins off it, and I want to do my own personal, nobody else has ever done it, uh, airbrush paint job of it. The tins are in the backyard covered in snow, still waiting to get painted. <laughs> and I've never, ever actually got to it. I started doing the model building. I got so addicted with it. The airbrush thing is still sitting on hold. It's to be done. It's not forgotten yet. Um, but with the bike in pieces at a shop in the next town over, uh, and parts of it, as far as I know right now, are in the States uh, being rebuilt because they can't be done here in Canada. Uh, it kind of leaves me in a situation where pff, there's no rush. So I'm practicing my airbrushing, enjoying the hobby, having a great time. Um, I love your work. Keep it up. I love your comments on the uh, the, uh, the the albums that you've got and that you're purchasing. Uh, just so you know, this one's brought to you from McClay's. A nice Guelph beer, also brewed in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Uh, traditional pale ale, not an India pale ale. Smooth, clean, crisp, and I think you'd like it. Give it a try if you haven't. The rest of you out there, keep building, keep up the good work. Awesome stuff going on there. Uh, oh, one other thing I want to say is to Andy. Uh, Andy X, his name now is on the, on the YouTube channel. I noticed he changed it. Uh, the music thing, you like it, you want to do it, go for it. I support it. Uh, personally, I've never been able to play an instrument. Couldn't do it if my life depended on it. I have a guitar sitting in the corner here. The best I can get out of it is cats in heat screaming at me. <laughs> Enjoy what you do. Keep it up. Two thumbs up, everybody. Have a good day.